From the wheel and automobiles to the telephone and the internet, here are 15 incredible inventions that changed the world. Hey guys, it's your host for today, American Eye. But before we get into it, make sure you subscribe to Teltanic, and if you like today's content, be sure to check out my channel, American Eye. We'll see you there. The Compass. Until this device came along, mariners could travel at night by navigating the stars. But at night, or on overcast nights, that method couldn't work, so ships had to stay close to land. Experts think the first compass was invented by the Chinese between the 9th and the 11th centuries. They had been studying lodestone and iron ore that is naturally magnetized. The technology later passed on to the Middle Easterners and Europeans through nautical contact. The increased range of navigation allowed the sea trade to flourish and played a major role in the age of discovery. Radio Even though there are countless entertainment options out there, this medium is still relevant. The first practical radio transmitters and receivers were developed by Guglielmo Marconi in the late 19th century. By 1900, the medium was starting to be used commercially. By 1919, the Radio Corporation of America, the RCA, was formed and was arguably the first mass media company. As more radio stations signed on air, it transformed numerous industries, especially the information trade. Information could be disseminated more quickly to the public at large without having to wait for a newspaper. Radio became a great source of entertainment, kind of like the appointment programming of its day. And the world became a smaller place as transatlantic communications became a reality. The Steam Engine this example of an external combustion engine first saw practical use in 1698 as a water pump, but steam-driven devices have been known since the first century AD. James Watt is credited with creating the first practical steam engine around 1776. His design became so strongly identified with the technology that it took many years before newer innovations replaced it. The external combustion engine went on to power the Industrial Revolution and drive huge leaps forward in manufacturing, transportation, and agriculture. In addition to powering the rise of empires like Great Britain, the engine laid the foundation for innovative technologies of the 20th century. That included internal combustion engines and jet turbines, which led to automobiles and aircraft, respectively. The World Wide Web WWW are three letters that everyone can identify as the World Wide Web, although many people mistake it for the internet itself. But the net is the underlying connection network that allows users to access email, video, and other online content. The more technically inclined might define the web as online content that is comprised of interlinked HTML pages which are accessed online. You can probably just call it the web. Thank the English scientist Sir Tim Berners-Lee for creating it in 1989. Since then, he has fought to keep the web open and free to all. Did you know that Mr. Berners-Lee had never profited off this game-changing invention? The Telegraph Before there were smartphones, this was the only way to send a text message. The first electric telegraph resulted from the work of several inventors during the 18th and 19th century. It used the internationally sanctioned Morse code to transmit messages along communication wires. The first commercial units appeared in 1837 and telegraph lines were multiplying by the 1850s. Transoceanic cables had been placed around the world by 1902. With the ability to rapidly send messages over vast distances, huge advances were made in the way people received information. The impact made on industries including banking, government, business, and the news were incredible. You could argue that the information age already started here. The Wheel Before its invention around 3500 BC, humans were severely restricted by the number of things that could be transported on land and how far. What really made the difference was the wheel and axle idea. It seems like a simple enough mechanism, but the size of the axle ends had to be a near-perfect fit for the wheel holes. If the fit was too snug or too loose, the wheel couldn't properly roll. It took a lot of time to find the correct proportions, but all that work had led to a huge payoff. Wheeled carts enable the growth of commerce and agriculture and help to ease the burden of long-distance travel. Transistors These semiconductor devices are sometimes overlooked, yet they're found in countless modern electronic gadgets. Developed by scientists at Bell Laboratories in 1947, the small devices can precisely regulate the amount and the flow of electrical current through circuit boards. They became identified with transistor radios, but they've since become essential components in smartphones, computers, and televisions. Did you know that many sources regard transistors as one of the greatest inventions of the 20th century? And their impact on technology will only grow. That's due to a phenomenon known as Moore's Law. It states that the amount of transistors and dense integrated circuits will double almost every two years. The Printing Press Johannes Gutenberg is credited with inventing this in the 15th century. Movable type made from metal had previously been invented in Korea and China, but Gutenberg pioneered the use of movable type made of metal. That allowed the mechanized transfer of ink to paper with movable type. With more copies of books being printed, knowledge could be more quickly transferred and decimated for the first time in history. By 1500, it's estimated that 20 million volumes have been printed in Western Europe. Penicillin The discovery of the world's most famous antibiotic happened almost by accident. In 1928, 
Scottish scientist Alexander Fleming unintentionally left the lid of his petri dish ajar. He noticed that the bacteria sample within had been contaminated with a mold. And wherever the mold appeared, it seemed to kill bacteria. The mold's antibiotic properties were later refined and yielded the drug penicillin. By 1944, it was being mass-produced and was made commercially available in the U.S. about a year later. The drug is used to treat a huge number of bacterial infections without harming the human patient. About 1 in 10 people are estimated to be allergic to penicillin, but according to researchers, the majority of them can still tolerate the drug. Air travel Stories of self-propelled flying machines date back to ancient Greece, about 400 BC. Leonardo da Vinci is known to have designed such a machine in the 15th century. But it wouldn't be until the 20th century that true, powered, and sustained flight was achieved. The Wright brothers are typically credited with inventing, constructing, and flying the world's first airplane. They controlled and sustained flight of a powered aircraft and it was documented about four miles south of Kitty Hawk, North Carolina in 1903. Their achievements laid the groundwork for modern aeronautical engineering and quickly made an impact on world travel. More than 4 billion passengers are estimated to use commercial aviation transport each year. Decreased travel time over greater distances has resulted in a much smaller world. The Telephone Variations of this technology have been developed as early as 1840 with a working voice communication device created around 1854. However, Alexander Graham Bell is generally acknowledged as the inventor of the telephone. In 1876, he was awarded the first patent for an electric telephone. According to historians, his work was inspired by working with the deaf and had previously created a system called Visible Speech. The phone was an immediate success and quickly revolutionized global communications and business. Its popularity also attracted a lot of intellectual property lawsuits from various inventors. By the time Bell died in 1922, an estimated 12 million phones were in service. Light bulb. This technology and Thomas Edison are pretty much synonymous. As with the telephone, there were many inventors who played a role in developing this technology. Historians estimate that around two dozen people invented various versions of the incandescent lamp throughout the 19th century. But Edison was the first to create a fully functioning light system that included a generator, wiring, and a carbon filament bulb in 1874. By the 1880s, commercial incandescent bulbs were widely available. By the early 20th century, electric lighting had become commonplace. Prior to its invention, people used candles or gas lights, and productivity was largely restricted by daylight hours. With the light bulb, productivity was enhanced around the clock. It also had an unintended byproduct of altering human sleep patterns. Ask anyone who stays up all night. Electricity A lot of inventions on our list would be useless without electricity, so who invented it? The answer is no one did. Scientists regard electricity as a naturally occurring phenomenon, so humans couldn't truly invent it. But its nature, however, could be discovered. In 1752, Benjamin Franklin allegedly attached a metal key to a kite string and flew it during an impending thunderstorm. When sparks jumped from the key to Franklin's hand, it proved that lightning had an electrical quality to it. Most sources state that the way that electricity is produced, distributed, and installed is the accumulation of centuries of research. Some key moments include Nikola Tesla's development of alternating current, or AC, and the development of direct current, or DC, developed by Thomas Edison. George Westinghouse bought the patent to AC, and it's the standard that's being used today. Automobiles It's tough to imagine a world without cars. But it wasn't even until 1886 that the first true automobiles were invented. German inventor Carl Benz is generally credited with this invention. His name is Benz and Mercedes-Benz. That company's origins can be traced in part to his Benz patent motor wagon. It's regarded as the world's first production vehicle powered by an internal combustion engine. Did you know that it ran on less than one horsepower? Cars became readily available to the masses with the introduction of Ford's Model T in 1908. After that, the motorized vehicles quickly replaced animal-drawn carts and carriages in the U.S. The transition took a little bit longer in other parts of the world. There are over an estimated 1 billion cars rolling around the world today. While they do provide us with independence and mobility, they're not quite as much fun when they break down. And number 1. The Internet Do you really need an introduction to this technology? You're using it right now to watch this video on YouTube. Most of us use the Internet for all kinds of things, including paying bills, taking online classes, or communicating across various social medias. Internet is a contraction of interconnected network. It refers to a worldwide system of interconnected computer networks used by billions of people. The technology's origins lie in the 1960s with the U.S. military and their Advanced Research Products Agency, or ARPA. A group of computer scientists was charged with connecting the agency's computers to a communications network. That resulted in the ARPANET. It had about 15 sites connected to it by 1971. Today, there are nearly 2 billion sites connected to the internet, 400 million of which are estimated to be active. 